We have a few things on our agenda today. Number one, and the main reason why you are here is because we are going to unbox. What's inside here? This is my Emmy Award. This is my second Emmy Award in the box down here. Number one's over there, back here. Super pumped about that, and that actually will lead into the second part of this video slash vlog today. And I felt it was only right to open it on camera because the main reason why I'm here today, where I am, and why I continue to create is because of you, the people who watch this video and support my channel and support what I do. It's huge. I only owe it to you guys to open it, and it's just kind of a cool experience that some and most people don't get to experience. Number two, we have our engagement photos today, later on tonight. So we gotta do that. We gotta shower, we're nasty, gotta shave my mustache, a little five o'clock mustache. And number three, lately I have been feeling like a worthless piece of because I've been working from home for my new job, which is going okay to say the least i don't want to get too much into it but to say the least my creativity has been dimmed down it went from here all the way down to in a matter of a month and i just feel like not myself right now but without further ado let's get into the main reason why we're here today i need to get a table because uh my little setup here for unboxing is not working not good not good not good not good not good that'll do it now Oh, we have stuffing, and then you have a box inside a box. But now, what's inside this beautiful box? A revival through retro junk. Griffin Pearson, photographer. And when you open it, this is what you get. You get an Emmy. Dude, they included a cloth this time, and I don't know what this is, but we're gonna open that in a second. There you go, a nice protective case in case I move. I wanna see what's in here, and then I'll take it out of the plastic, we'll hold it. I'm gonna say a quick thank you, if you will, and I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this. I have a cool plan, nice little surprise, so. Oh, it's a certificate of authenticity, like this is authentic, which I wish my one from last year came with that. I guess last year's award is not authentic. <laughs> There she blows. That's my name at the bottom right there. Griffin Pearson, photographer. Last time we unboxed one of these, we also hit 10,000 subscribers the day I got the award. I just can't get over I have two of these now. It's super exciting, it's humbling, and again, I wouldn't be here without any of you. So, thank you. So that concludes the little Emmy Award unboxing. We're gonna put that down here for right now. Okay, now that that is out of the way, I have a surprise. So the reason why I also won this Emmy is because a local store owner by the name of Brandon Farr let me tell the story of Retro Junk in Manchester, Connecticut. Here we are. We won an Emmy Award for basically the piece we did on his store. But I want to bring in the Emmy Award, take a picture, give it to him, just to show that his store is an Emmy Award winning store. It's very, very exciting. So we're gonna do that in a couple days. Frosty Chino in hand and an Emmy in the passenger seat. It's currently August 5th and your boy is unemployed. We're gonna come out with a video on that topic uh, later on, maybe this week or next week. But just know the future is bright for your boy and there's a reason why I'm currently unemployed for three weeks. Now, I wanna give a little backstory of how the Emmy happened and how it's related to retro junk. Uh, just real quick, I met Brandon on Facebook Marketplace when I was in search for an original scare glow. We had it, we got to talking. When I got there, I told him I worked for Fox and I wanted to do a story. I love old vintage toys and I love collecting and he has that same passion as well. So I knew it was just an instant match and I had to make something work. If you trust the process, if you trust somebody's craft, I promise nine times out of 10, they're not gonna let you down, especially if they're passionate about it. The perfect example is in this box. So we just pulled up. If you guys are ever in Manchester, Connecticut, please stop here. This place is sick, retro junk. I brought something to show you. You did? I did. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, shit. Dude, dude, that's wild. That's sick. All right, so what do you think, man? That's insane. Right, there we go. I knew the piece was incredible that you did, but I can't believe you guys won that for it. I wanted to bring in and show you. I also wanted to stop by. A revival through retro junk. That's so dope, dude. Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> hey, so I might have forgot to record everything while I was in there shopping because I was so just taken back by everything and astonished by the nostalgia in the store. So, yeah, I shot when I got there and then when I left. So there's no like in between. 
So consider this the in-between to break these two apart and uh, make sense. So I'm just here to, yeah, break it apart. Enjoy. All right, so we're leaving. First off, thank you for everything. Dude, thank you, that's incredible. Where can people find you? 811 Main Street in Manchester, man. Retro Junk, my name's Brandon. We got all sorts of cool stuff from your childhood. Retro toys, action figures, vintage video games, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna link the story that we did down below. Even though my camera is extremely blue right now, we're gonna give you a two for one. This is my first time ever trying a latte. That's pretty slamming, can't lie. Well, I know I said I wasn't gonna get anything, but it's hard not to get something when Brandon gives you a good deal and you like everything in that store. All right, so let me put my coffee down. Let's go through a quick haul of what we got today. So we got a little alien NECA scaler thing that holds onto a phone or cable. Pretty sick. You guys know I love alien. If not, now you know. Homer Simpson figure right here. Pretty dope. Again, Brandon always hooks it up. And we got two t-shirts. Got a Harley Davidson vintage tee. Love that, super sick. I don't own a motorcycle, but it's pretty sweet and a Twilight Zone Tower of Terror t-shirt from Disneyland because that does not even exist anymore. It's actually Guardians of the Galaxy, so that's a sick pickup right there. And also, Alien on Laserdisc. Um, comes with a bunch of stuff inside here. Haul today, successful. Again, it's really hard to not get anything when you love everything in that store. So again, big shout out to Retro Junk in Manchester, Connecticut. Highly recommend it if you love nostalgia. And now the long journey back home, an hour away. So that's why I'm gonna end the video off here. If you did enjoy this video, the slightest bit, the smallest amount, please demolish that thumbs up button down below. It's free, it's simple, it's easy, and helps out my channel immensely. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Join this big Gryffindor family. We are currently approaching 18,000 subscribers. Ha!